Guys, this drama with James Charles and Hates 3 Hates 3 and Gila is just getting more and more insane by the day. Now, I said it in my first video, which is going to be the part one, which will be linked at the top of the description below. You should go watch that. I said that I knew this was going to get bigger and bigger and bigger because this is a kind of thing where I can actually justify the reasoning in which someone is angry at James Charles. And it is because James Charles allegedly, allegedly. ripped off the design of Hates 3 Hates 3 and Gila's brand, Teddy Fresh, their entire hoodie, which is a color block, a bunch of different colors, and I'm going to recap it very quickly, but you should go watch the part one because it's juicy. I got you. So Hates 3 Hates 3 had tweeted something that said, I know we didn't invent color blocking, but I'm having a hard time with the new James Charles merch. It's the same exact design as Gila's. Combined with the fact that his audience is so huge, many people will assume he designed it and start accusing us of plagiarism, which is a very valid point. I 100% see where he's coming from. What do you think? And then he included these pictures. One of James Charles' new sister's apparel. Now keep in mind the yellow, you know, cuffs. Yellow jawstrings and the exact placement of the colors is the exact same as Hila, H3H3's partner, her one. Right down to the cuffs, string, and hood. Entire placement of the colors is the exact same. Now, what I didn't actually take into consideration in my first video was the colors are actually in the exact same place. Look, that blue, 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 pink, pink, yellow. Yeah, like this is not a coincidence in my opinion and a lot of people's opinions. Then Ethan made the argument that James Charles has such a big reach and he showed all these TikToks where it was like 14.9 million views and was saying that the audience are then gonna associate that with him and take away sales from them, which is a valid point as well. Look, 19 million views, valid point, again. Then Ethan tweeted again and said, it's a possible, it's a coincidence, but there's also the same colors used in this other version, which this is their other model, keep in mind the colors, exact same colors, again. So, in my opinion, not a coincidence, right? Right. And James Charles had tweeted this. He said, when you DM'd me yesterday, I sent you the original photo that inspired my collection. Now, this is very important to note. Explained, I've never seen your brand, but also asked what you wanted me to do. You didn't reply. After last year, I vowed to keep conversations private and create solutions, not drama. Then James continued by saying, if you would like to continue our conversation and find a solution, my DMs are open. I'm speaking really fast because we have the juicy part to get to. Then h 3 h 3 actually brought up an old tweet by James Charles, making him look like a hypocrite that was from James... From 7th of September 2019, the tweet from James said there are only so many colors you can put into an eyeshadow palette and I'm not claiming to own specific colors, but when you copy the exact shades and lay it from my palette without even trying to hide it, clone emoji, basically saying that a brand had actually copied his palette and he was not happy about that, which is the exact same thing he's doing to someone else and he's reacting to it in a way that if this company did it, he would drive them. Okay, now we have the juicy stuff. So in my part one, we talked about that and so much more, but more stuff has came out. So Ethan has actually posted the DMs from James Charles, exposing this entire conversation. Now, I know James is going to be mega fuming about this, like mega, mega, mega fuming. But actually, Ethan did a podcast in which Hila said, no, we don't want to show the DMs. So I don't know what happened to the point where they actually showed them. But James Charles actually comes across as an arrogant word I won't say in these DMs. And Ethan and Hila in the podcast actually say that James was very rude to them, which we can now see. So let's read through them. So this is the DMs from James Charles. It'll be behind me and I'm going to read it out to you. So he said, oof, looking closer at the screenshot you just sent me, I will give you the heads up that one of the colorways we're doing is actually an exact copy of the purple, tan, pink and teal hoodie you have. <gasps> I'm out of breath. Oh my God, my intro like wounded me. And then the emoji that's like the face upside down. This one, which is just kind of like saying that he doesn't care, in my opinion. I designed the pastel one based on the night hoodie, but my design team pitched me a bunch of colorways once we decided on doing a color block collection. And I liked that one and said yes. Once again, not being familiar with your brand or hoodie, which is funny and ironic because Lorraine, James's best friend, constantly wore the Teddy Fresh hoodie in the one that James took. So, of course, he's seeing it and then he copied it. Allegedly. The units have been produced for a while now, so there's nothing I can do, but I'll definitely be speaking to them because although I didn't copy anything, they certainly may have. And then this emoji. Ooh. And he said, which is not okay. And it's funny because if James is so, you know, self-proclaimed in control of his brand and his company, surely he would have control of knowing if they're plagiarizing off of someone else, right? Then Ethan responded saying, not really a coincidence then, is it? Then James responded saying, but it appears though it may not be. I'm speaking with the team now, so I'll keep you updated on what they say. Then Ethan responded and said, well, hmm, not really sure what to say. That hoodie is pretty much our hallmark as a brand, but now I'm learning that more than one is knocked off, so I'm a little speechless, I guess. 
Then James responded, and this is the final DMs we can see, and said, once again, and then that upside down emoji again. This is, that's a shady emoji to send, because it's like you're pissed off, right? You send that emoji when you're like tired, or like pissed off, or like, really? Well, that's how I use it anyway. The main hoodie in the collection isn't knocked off. You know, let's bring it up again. He's saying this isn't knocked off. Really? James? Really? Okay, you're gonna tell us this isn't knocked off? I don't believe you. Oh, I forgot to skip the DM, sorry. <laughs> I'm so professional. It had a different source of inspiration, has a different color body and different color pocket, and logo is completely different placement, size, and color. Is James really trying to say that he didn't copy because his one has sisters and their one doesn't? Because that's really not an argument, in my opinion, and again, I know fuck all about business. But if he's like, yeah, our one's different because we have this, sisters on it, instead of Teddy Fresh, yeah, he's not trying to make the argument. And like, I'm sticking up for H3H3 H3 here because James is trying to make it like, oh no, I didn't copy, I didn't completely steal it because your logo isn't on it. I would fucking hope his logo isn't on it, James. Same way Sisters Apparel isn't on his. But anyway. You don't own color block either. James said that. The other colorway, which I did not personally select but approved, however, is extremely similar. And I am trying to get to the bottom of how the design team came up with this. Regardless, we don't have the same fan base or demographics, so there's really no competition here. Now, that pissed me off. And then he said, all I can tell you is that I've never shopped on your website before, so I did not copy your brand. Now, I have a lot of issues with this. I normally have issues with everything, but I have many, many, many issues with this because... James Charles basically then justified his reasoning for stealing this copy and collection Allegedly. by saying, regardless, we don't have the same fan base or demographics, so there's really no competition here. And it's not the point, but so many people have since came forward being like, I'm actually a fan of both of you. So, again, argument, null there. But it's such a hierarchy thing where he's like, we don't have the same audience, so I'm allowed to steal it. Right? I don't like that. I really don't like that. I'm just going to read this one more time. Once again, the main hoodie in the collection isn't knocked off. You know, mm, you can tell for yourself. It had a different source of inspiration. And he's like not giving it. You know what I mean? Where is it? Right? Has a different color body and different color pocket. And logo is completely different placement size and color. You don't own color block either. The other colorway, which I did not personally select but approved, however, is an extremely similar and I'm trying to get to the bottom of how the design team came up with this. So that would be like good in its own, right? But then he had to ruin it for himself, saying, regardless, we don't have the same fan base or demographics, so there's really no competition here. Yeah, James, but the issue is you have the wider reach whether you want to say it or not, and you're actually getting all your friends to wear your version of it, which in time is going to make more people associate that with you, which in reality is their biggest seller, and a lot of fast fashion places have stole that concept and these color schemes, exact color placements, I mean, from Hila and Ethan, and you're doing the exact same, which we all know, and like I have my own little theories about your fast fashion, Sisters of Harrell. And I don't understand because James does contradict himself because in this first one he says, yeah, they are similar and oh my god, wow, they're so similar. And then he goes, yeah, mm, no, they're not. It's a different placement. Um, actually, we have different colors and we actually have different fans. And this, all I can tell you is that I've never shopped on your website before, so I did not copy your brand. You don't need to shop from somewhere to copy their ideas or just their entire concept, right? James, your best friend goes around wearing Teddy Fresh. By the way, Teddy Fresh actually slaps and I actually bought a hoodie from them. Like, just after this drama. So, I mean, this is why drama works, y'all. Drama works because now Ethan and Hila are going to get more sales. And then James, in retrospect, is going to get more sales too. They're both going to get more sales because of this. And it worked because I bought one. Of Teddy Fresh, not Sister Tomorrow. Okay, guys, what are you feeling about this? I just, okay, if James had actually just came forward and been like, wow, these are actually way too similar, I apologize. And could have even worked something out. I'm sure Ethan and Hila would have been like, right, take your sales. And, but I feel like now it's been pushed to a bigger argument because James was just flat out rude to them. 
Like, he was straight up rude behind the scenes to these two people who he blatantly, and agreed to, having a product he's selling be way too similar to theirs, you know what I mean? Like, dead ass, this is, this is a fucking joke. Everything about this is the same, except for this, because James wants you to know that he doesn't have Teddy Fresh, he has sisters on his! Fucking hell. And then this one too. And I just want you to know that James Charles unfollowed my friend Will. You know Will who we've had on my channel before? We love Will on my channel. James Charles unfollowed Will, a longtime fan of James Charles, very supportive fan. He unfollowed him because James didn't like that Will tweeted that they were too similar. And I want you to keep in mind, James Charles also unfollowed on Twitter and unadded on Snapchat one of his longest time fans because they told him he wasn't wearing a mask and that was annoying them. At this rate, who's he gonna have left if he's just continuously unfollowing, blocking? He actually blocked, you know, Colin, who we've had on this channel as well. We love Colin. Blocked Colin because Colin called him out for the Alicia Keys. Tobacco. Only a matter of time before he blocks Hila and Ethan too. You know, because he vows to keep drama and DMs and private now, but somehow there's more drama about him recently than any other beauty guru. That's what's confusing to me, right? And we I said that in my last video, the part one, which is linked below, and everyone was like, yeah. There's more drama with James Charles now than there was back then, and yet he's keeping things private. So what's that about? Right? But guys, what do you think about how James acted about this situation in the DMs? I think it was super rude and super passive aggressive, and Ethan and Hila are not happy about this. Like in the podcast, they were like, we were trying to sort this out with him, and he was just flat out rude to us. And like, the funniest thing is, on Twitter, James is like, let's sort this out in DMs, red heart emoji. And in DMs, he's like, yeah, we don't have the same fan base, so I have the units, Bob. Let's just go with it. I've never shopped in your brand, you know what I mean? How are we feeling about this? Let me know guys, I will see you in my next one, and let's have that conversation below, right? I think he's ready to have this conversation as well. Allegedly Bear's not happy either. He has to have a mask on because of all this bullshit in the air. Anyways, bye.